stop, no, no. This is like some video s. How's your memory? Mine's pretty good, but it's not always been that way. A long time ago, I decided that I wanted to appear to be able to memorize an entire deck of playing cards in a well-structured three-phase routine that was interesting and amazing. The good news for you is that I've solved that problem. Pseudo will make it look like you can memorize a deck of cards in seconds. So the card that you're hiding must be the King of Spades. No, no. These two don't actually belong anywhere because they're the jokers. <laughs> <laughs> Phase one, the spectator genuinely shuffles the deck in any way they like. They cut off some cards, you deal through them face up at a rapid pace, and then face down you're able to separate all the red cards from all the blacks. So over here should be the, uh, the black cards, the spades and the clubs. And then over here should be the, uh, the red cards, the hearts and the diamonds. Phase two, the spectator cuts off some more cards, they remove one and hide it, they don't even look at it themselves. You spread the cards on the table, face up, and you look at them for a second, maybe two. Turning them face down, you then deal out four piles, which are revealed to be all of the hearts, all of the spades, all the diamonds, and all the clubs. All of this is done at an impressive and amazing pace. For the finale, you dribble the remainder of the deck face up on the table, and as soon as the last card hits the table, you close your eyes. In a structured reveal sequence, by seeing all the cards but one, you impossibly tell them which card is missing, their hidden card. And the card that's missing from memory should be the two of hearts. Yes, <laughs> and I honestly believe that once you try this, you'll see the reaction it gets, you'll see how easy it is, you'll see how fun it is, and you'll never stop doing it.